Hey, check out that old homeless guy over there. We've got nothing to do tonight, and we haven't fucked someone up in a while now. Yeah, let's do it. No one will find that bomb later anyways. Miss Hawthorne? Oh, yes, you must be Colt Thrall. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, thank you. Here, have a seat. Oh, thank you. So according to your school file here, you are a young man with a lot of potential. You've had opportunity to join multiple military organizations, and you've chosen us. Why is that? Well, uh, the thing about the military is that uh, we're too concerned with political agenda, and we're tape. And all I want to do is just help people. That's all. Well, I think we have the right program for you. It's codenamed Quantum Guardian. And uh, would it be protecting life? Yes, yes. And I guarantee you, you'd be saving lives with integrity and honesty. that you want to help people? Uh, do you believe that we all have a purpose in life? Yeah. As cheesy as it sounds, I believe that my purpose is to make the world a better place. What's up, Colt? All right. They have been taken out. The victim should be home by now, or whatever back alley and bridge he would call home. All right, man. So you remembered to drop the bandana, right? Yeah. Cops just think it's a gang crime. Now, did you see any witnesses on the satellite? <laughs> Not in that alley. It's such a shitty part of town. No one wants to hang out over there. Now, were there any complications? I assume those guys aren't walking. They ain't walking. That's for sure. I well, said that, everything went straight forward. None of them had a cute gene, so I saw every hit coming. Yeah. That's just great. What's the matter? You sound disappointed that I didn't get hurt. No, no, no. It, it's just been something that's been bugging me for a while. I'll tell you about it later. I'll see you in a bit, Colt. All right, see ya.
Coach, how have you been? It's oh, regnet, warum setzen wir uns nicht hin? Okay. So, wie war der Aufenthalt in Madrid? Ja, ziemlich heiß. Ach, ja, natürlich. Also, hast du mit Frau Hawthorne gesprochen? Ich nehme mal an, dass die Obsidian Company dich akzeptiert hat. Ja, und sie scheint es wirklich ehrlich zu meinen. Obwohl ich glaube, dass meine Akzeptierung halt mehr mit ihrer Befehlung zu tun gehabt hat, als irgendwas anderes. <lacht> das sollte man denken, aber nicht wirklich, die brauchten es nicht. Und sind Sie sich sicher, dass es wirklich anders sein wird bei Obsidian? Ich meine, wie die wirklich einen Unterschied machen in der Welt? Ich versichere dir, du wirst einen Unterschied machen in der Welt und für dich. Bei Obsidian kannst du dir eine neue Zukunft aufbauen. Ich weiß, du willst deine Familie gründen, mit Frau und Kindern. In zehn Jahren kannst du das alles haben. Ein gutes Leben für andere und für dich. Josh. Oh, you have a gun for a reason. Why aren't you using it? They need it, which reminds me. You should take it. Probably will never use it. First of all, I hate guns. Secondly, you should be using it. You can take out targets a lot quicker and cleaner. There's nothing clean about killing, not even from a distance. So why bother? Okay. So, none of the guys had any Q chromosomes, and you saw every hit coming? Yeah, why? I mean, we've been doing this, taking people out for four years now, and... And what? It's all the Q chromosome and string theory shit. Makes me question if we have any free will in the first place. Since we know what's going to happen, it would suggest those guys never had a definitive choice. And if they did have a choice, maybe they would have chosen not to commit the crime in the last minute, making perhaps a large number of our activities unnecessary. Don't worry about that stuff. It's not your problem. Yes, it is if it keeps me up at night. Look, just because I know what about it does not mean they never had a choice. They made the choice. Just the reason why I'm here. But what if we could have done something differently? Like what? Going to the cops? Telling them, hey, I can look into the future of a parallel timeline. And if you don't arrest these guys who haven't committed their crime yet, I'm gonna kill them. Okay. I get it. You should have seen what they would have done to an old homeless guy. They had it coming. They had it coming. You don't look so good. Are you okay? No. And mind your own business. Save your emotional talk for that girlfriend of yours. Well, I can't exactly tell her I'm a vigilante. By the way, at least I have a girlfriend. Well, women like bad boys, not monsters. Four years. For four years I've been doing this. And for what? I mean, am I actually making a difference? You know, I always wanted to stop murders, but people still die. I always wanted to stop killers, and yet a monster is still among us. What actually makes me different than them? Is it that they start trouble while I just finish it? Well, if that's all there is, the 
pretty shitty reason. Pretty shitty difference. Then again, it's a pretty shitty world. And it will have to do, I guess. The all I can hope for now is that if I look long enough into the darkness of my own heart, I stop blinking. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. Anyways, what's that new gimmick of yours? Yeah, it's a new communicator. As you know, you've been using an old modded cell phone so we don't get traced. This solves the problem. Wait, so your new gadget is nothing more than a new cell phone plan? No, no cell phone at all. You don't mind having another chip in your brain, do you? Like I said, it's a shitty world. Subfile, Colt Stahl. Height, 5 foot 10. Weight, 165 pounds. Blood type, O. Body type, Omega. Possessing quantum gene. Bio, Colt Stahl, a previous field agent who worked for the privatized Obsidian Agency. He has an installed Q processor chip in his brain that enables him to see parallel futures from other time streams. His function was to intercept political assassinations before they happened. After the company terminated him, his Q processor chip overloaded. He is the only recorded survivor of a Q chip overload, also referred to as a quantum shock. The quantum shock resulted in several physical and psychological side effects. Quantum shock, physical side effects. Time space affects his molecular structure differently. Increased strength. Muscle and fascia fibers are much denser, increasing his strength. Increased speed. Denser twitch muscles enable him to move at a much higher velocity. Increased durability. His molecules vibrate unconventionally, giving him the ability to absorb more physical stress and to accelerate his regeneration speed. Precausality reflexes. His reflexes are more in tune with the time stream enabling him to sense close-range actions of cause and effect before they happen. Quantum shock psychological side effects. Time-space affects his mental perception differently. Psychological durability. His psychological state of mind remains stable, even though it goes through severe psychological stress. Pre-causality vision. During REM sleep, he experiences future murders through the eyes and the actions of the killer. These upcoming actions are restricted to the local area that Kolchtal is located in. Post-traumatic stress. The quantum shock and the continuing pre-causality vision are damaging his psyche. Due to his psychological durability, the overall result is yet to be determined. Dimensional psychological damage. Severe neurological damage occurred during the quantum shock, suggesting dimensional time stream scarring. Further research is required. Thank <laughs> you.